not true. That's not the way it works. It's been explained by Mike Hayden, who was involved in setting it up, by Keith Alexander, who's a superb guy, both of them, who's now running the program, um, that we have collected a lot of numbers, but they are business records of the phone companies. They have been determined by the Supreme Court not to be private individual records the way um, they're oftentimes described okay. by critics. So let's assume that's right. Now mm -hmm. the question is being asked, why does all of this have to be kept so secret. The, the terrorists clearly assume we're trying to intercept their phone calls and intercept their emails. So why not let the American public know the the outlines, the general program, obviously not sources and methods and how you go in and the algorithms and all that, but the blueprint, the general outline of the program, so we as Americans can debate it. Well, I have problems with with respect to that concern. I understand people's concern about it, but a, an intelligence program that does reveal sources and methods, which in fact is what you're talking about, is significantly less effective because you're not just revealing it to the American people, you're revealing it to your targets, to your adversaries, to the enemy. Uh, there are reasons for secrecy in the conduct of intelligence operations. When we set this program up back in uh, the weeks after 01, uh, we briefed certain members of Congress, chairman and ranking member of the intelligence committees. We did it in my office in the West Wing. Mike Hayden had come in, George Tennant, I was there, and we'd give them the layout of what we were doing and what we were learning from it. Eventually, we did it for the elected leadership of the Congress, both parties, both houses. So we had senior officials in the Congress and eventually, obviously, the FISA courts who were read into the program and knew what we were doing and had, in effect, signed off on it. I once asked a collective group, the, the Big Nine in the spring of '04. In the briefing, first we briefed them uh, and said, do you think we ought to continue the program? They said, absolutely yes. Then we said, do you think we ought to come back to the Congress and get additional legislative authorization? They said, absolutely not. It'll leak. Um, those were the senior leaders in the Congress at the time. Now, so, so what right do you think American, the American people have to know what government is doing? Well, they get to, excuse me, they get to vote for senior officials like the President of the United States or like the senior officials in Congress and you have to have some trust in them. You don't go out when you're running a, an intelligence operation trying to collect data and in effect tell the enemy what you're doing.